Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I'm gonna give everybody a chance to jump on, but those of you watching the replay, make sure you follow, not just like. That way it'll notify you when I have a new video or when we go live. Um, let me pull it up here on um, the screen so I can have my comments on here. Turn on, hey Robin. But make sure when you jump on to say where you're from. I'm starting to really uh, remember your names. I'll just forget sometimes where you're from. Hey, Helen from Georgia. Erica. Sharon from Ohio. I get much love from Ohio. <laughs> All right, North Carolina. Are y'all having a good weekend so far? Which it's almost over with. Hey, from Missouri. Uh, Denise. Uh, how did you tell me to pronounce your name? Um, I think you said Denise. Uh, Virginia. Hey, Mary. Ohio again. Hey there, Sien. All the crafty ladies watching from Knoxville. Debbie, you're so sweet. Connecticut. Um, Kentucky. Two from Kentucky. Tracy and Tammy. Back to back. Utah. Hey, Sherry from Ohio. Linda from Mississippi. All right. Since I have y'all going on there. All right, um, y'all, sometimes, you know, like reading comments and getting messages, I forget names, but I always remember ideas. Um, did you get your buildings down yesterday? No, they weren't mine. They were my sister's, but we did get them down. She had gotten that metal building down before there's five of us. So it's one sister and then two of us were there. Two were not there. And she had, she said, I could get the walls down, but I don't know what to do about the roof. So at first I was like, you know, I get Chris to bring me my saws off. We'll try to just cut through it. Well, he was already home. I didn't want to ask him to come back. So we started seeing the screws in it. So we were like, you know, let's just try to hammer it or beat it out. And we did. We took it completely apart, got that down. The other building, which is like an old kind of corrugated, um, like sheets of, um, fiberglass almost that you could make a greenhouse out of that was like a hundred years old. You could not even see through the fiberglass like it wouldn't even really work for a greenhouse anymore, but it was just, and that was made out of wood. Now, Stephanie had a good time, my oldest sister, you know, demoing that. and We just kind of went around, you know, by the end I got a little tired and <laughs> we kind of watched the rest of it, but it was pretty fun. But then my oldest sister, Stephanie's husband, Randy came over and um, we had like the pole saw and, you know, chainsaw. And so there was this huge tree and it's a shrub that's gotten way too big. It's like a tree, but it's a shrub. So we decided we were going, you know, start cutting trees down. <laughs> so we were, we were the hillbillies out there, but we were having a good time. Nothing like destruction. Um, hey, Sheila from South Carolina. Stephanie from Louisiana, Kentucky. Hey there, can't hear you. Okay, are you the only one, Patricia, that can't hear me? Or is everybody else? Give me some hearts if y'all can hear me. Patricia, maybe try to turn your volume up, but I haven't done anything different, so if the sound isn't working before I get started, I need to go out and maybe try to come back in. Um, you have our jack of all trades, Judy. Yeah, we were, we were kind of, I, I, I need to do that kind of work every day. Uh, caught you live. That's awesome. Thank you, Rosemary. So, okay, I'm getting hard. So, Patricia, maybe look on the side of your phone and, and turn your volume up. Sometimes, you don't, when I go into Snapchat, sometimes my sound doesn't work and I have to close it out and reopen it. So, you may have to do that. Um, all right, so I'm getting those hearts. Okay, uh, like I said, a lot of times I remember your comments, but I don't always remember the name. Well, when I took a picture of the little metal, remember the little tin, uh, like little dollar store metal, and we put the bunny rabbit in the center of it? Where I took a picture of it was sitting on top of just like a galvanized um, cake plate. Now, y'all, I have a problem with cake plates, and I don't even, we don't even eat a lot of cake, nor do I bake, but I love them. I love to decorate with them, and this is the only one that I have. No, I think I have one more that's smaller, um, that's like galvanized like this. It looks here, and I, don't, I did not take the tag off of it. It's, it was $20 from Carolina Pottery. It's, it's fairly big. I would say this is at least probably 14 inches across. But I love it. It's nice and sturdy. It's galvanized. I love to decorate with this kind of stuff. So somebody asked me, did I make it? And I was like, no, but you know, we could. So when I was at the Dollar Tree the other day, 
Y'all always making signs with these, and I need to make one because the ones y'all show me are um, so good. So this is from the dollar store. I mean, you can get a pan from anywhere, but even if you go to like Walmart or a place like that, you know, you're gonna pay, you know, probably a little bit more than a dollar for them. Like the cheap ones, maybe not, but at least probably $3. So if you're gonna decorate with it, just go ahead and grab it. It's not quite as big as this one, but it is there. And then, you know, they put these little tins out. And I'm looking at this, you know, you out of habit, you would want to put the big one at the, at the top, but no, see, they've got the little one. Now this one is hollow, but they, it is closed up on the bottom. But, I mean, that's not a big deal. Nobody ever sees that. So you could turn this over. And for something like this, so you never want it to kind of hit and pop your uh, hot glue uh, free because, you know, once that cools on there, it can pop. I mean, it'll hold it, but if it's something like, especially if you wanted to use or decorate with, you're gonna hit this pretty often. So, um, maybe this will be the simplest place so you don't have to do it. I'm gonna get the E6000. And y'all, I even like the fact that it has this jute at the bottom. If you didn't want that, you could take that off. This is just the way it came from the Dollar Tree. Um, but I like that. It's rustic. You know, this is already galvanized like this. And, you know, we, uh, in the fall, we did a, um, a video tutorial, you and I, on how to paint to make something look galvanized. And the best thing about this is you already have your silver background. So maybe one day when, you know, I kind of run low on crafts and we don't really have a holiday coming up, we'll go back over that galvanized, um, you know, little to, you know, to, to paint something to look galvanized. But I think instead of gluing it and making sure, you know, I've got it in the center, I'm just gonna turn it over. And remember the little side is here. And the smart thing to do, y'all, my little, my little rolling trays, so nice, is to kind of sorta almost find, find the center. I mean, you can do it kind of not precise, but get as close as you can especially if you're gonna use it. Let me see if this will mark on here. All right, let's see. All right, so these are, and I'm just gonna measure the back little hump, not the complete edge, but just that. So it looks like we're about, say, eight, nine, 10. 11, about 11 and almost 11 and a half, but 11 and three eighths. So, um, what is that? Five and a half. Yes. So, five and a half and an eighth. So, that's that way. Let me go on this line to tell me five. And a half and an eighth. So right here. So that's the closest I'm gonna get to the center that I'm gonna really worry about it. Because like I said, most of the time I decorate with these, but if you're gonna really put like a cake on it, um, you know, try to find the center uh, as close as you can. And remember, we're gonna put that, I'm gonna eyeball what I think is the center. and we're gonna put our E6000 on it. Hey, Judy, hey, Mama, hey, Pam, thank you for sharing. Breeze and bad every 30 seconds or so, just a few seconds, and then it starts again. All right, mine isn't doing it. Let me see if I can, uh, is it just doing that, or is it doing it to a lot of other people? So let me know, y'all, if it's freezing, if it's just Lynn. Lynn, you may need to close out and go back and get it, I don't know. But before I get started, I want to know if I've got to exit or not. I'm going to try to watch it for a second on the laptop and see if I see it do it. I'm good. Okay. All right. And remember, this this uh, dries clear. Now, kind of like hot glue, you may see a little bit of it. But... Especially if you're painting it, it will paint, especially with chalk paint. So I'm going to just stick that right on there. I don't mind so much that glue. It's so close. So you can see a little bit of the glue, but it's so close to there when you turn it upside down. Like right now, I can't see my fingers. See, even kind of holding it up. 
you don't see the underneath. So, I mean, you can worry about cleaning it, but just to get a good seal, not freezing, not freezing here. Okay, I'm sorry, Lynn, it may just be your computer. I mean, like it's like I said, sometimes like Facebook just has so much going on and so many updates. Sometimes you have to shut it down and then come back in. Not freezing here. Okay, so we're just going to leave that for a day. Some people say 48 hours. Some people say 24. Um, if it's something that, say if you're like putting some concrete, putting something back together, give it that 48 hours. So this right here. We'll just, maybe tomorrow night, we'll check it, and, you know, we'll have our, for $2, we'll have us cake pan. And like I said, it's not quite as big, but it's still going to be pretty cool. And look at that. I don't have anything on my little tray over there because everything's on my little portable trays. Y'all, these portable trays are awesome. If you go in and look on my, um, just before then, I just posted a quick little thing. I'd forgotten. They are both the same amount, but one seems to be, does hold a lot more. So if you look at the pictures, they were both $36.99, uh, so $37. The smaller one on the picture, you'll have to go back, seems to move easier. Everything's kind of open. I think it'll be, I'm putting all my things that I use every single night on that one because I, I, I feel like it's gonna be, Easier just to grab my scissors, grab my paint, things like that, sanding block, jute, things I use, and, and it really, really moves really easy. It's really pretty, um, but it only has three shelves, and then the little compartments are only on top. But this one's pretty hard to show you, but it's got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve drawers, and it has a top. It's bigger. Um, it's completely metal, except the drawers are like plastic. Four of the drawers on the bottom are about this deep. And then the other ones are, you know, let's see, eight are about that deep. I can probably pull you one out and show you. I have eight this size. And I got these little things at the dollar stores. That way I can separate within the shelf. Um, but the ones at the bottom, the ones at the bottom, uh, four, are a little bit bigger. They're about like this. And they're pretty good sized drawers. I mean, you can get a good little bit in here. Um, they slide in, so they're pretty sturdy. I got all my paint on the bottom in these two big ones. And it's a good little amount of paint. And, it, and it's a little bit harder to slide it, but there's so much weight in it. But for them both to be the same price, I would say the bigger one, if you have a lot. If you just want to have like your little everyday things out and have it really convenient, you can move it from room to room, I would get this one because like I said, it rolls a lot better. Um, it has like this kind of handle on the back because it's kind of like a, bu a buggy. It, it, it just moves easier. I think I like this one better for the convenience, but I think in the long run, I'm going to like the big one with these 10 drawers because I really can put a lot in it. So... You know, I kind of thought, you know, am I going to wish I had two of these or two of these? I like the fact that I have two different ones because even though they were the same amount and one holds more than the other one, the other one, this one just moves. And I love the little outside, like right here, the little pockets. And they come, they, you can actually move them. You know, like if you just wanted to or if you needed to pick that up for any reason, you can do that. Uh, okay, wish you would say hello. I'm sorry, Ida. Sorry. Um, all right. Hey, from where did you get it? I got them off of Amazon. Now they are prime. So it only takes you a couple of days to get them. If you have prime, where did, okay. Uh, the one with the drawer I've had for 12 years, Judy. Yes, it is. It, it was, and it really wasn't that hard for me to put together. Um, it come in a few, uh, like the pipes, you know, on the side. Uh, but I don't think it took me but a little bit longer because each one of these drawers, you know, even though the drawers come together, you have to put like a little knob on each one. But it was just like, I mean, you were able to do it with your hands. But probably with that, putting them on there and maybe the wheels, you know, took me a little bit longer to figure out how to put those on. They really took around the same, you know, amount of time to put together. It wasn't that hard. Um, all right, so let's get to our craft. We just wanted to... I did not because I helped her all day yesterday and I helped her some this morning and we went to the doll store and Walmart shopping. 
I just was able to put those together from Friday. Okay, um, this is not our craft, but uh, you remember a while ago, we got these little bunnies. Now I have seen everybody do things with these bunnies. They're so cute. Uh, this one I cut the arms off because we used it on something else and the ears because we were gonna use them on something else. Um, saw on a craft show the other day, she took her brown paint, y'all, and she painted this brown, completely brown and left this. She just said the white wasn't doing it for her. So she could paint it brown, y'all, it was extremely cute. I really liked it when she did it brown because like I said, it sits up really tall and it just didn't look like the same bunny. It, looked, it, it was really, really cute. So if you have these and you're like, mm, I don't know if I like it, go ahead and um, um, paint it brown and try that before you just say, I don't like it. All right, now back in the fall, if you remember when we were making our fall trees, uh, these little strainers that come from the Dollar Tree, you get a big one and a small one. For our um, fall tree, we made several, you know, all kind of different ornaments. Well, one of our ornaments that we made was a straw hat. You know, like a scarecrow's hat or anything like that, however you want to say it, um, for the fall. Well, <clears throat> a lot of crafters um, are making um, little, they're, they're adding clothes to these, and they're really cute. But... Some of them are having to make a little hat. They're going to like Hobby Lobby or a craft store or order them online, the little tiny doll straw hats. But I started thinking and I got one of these out. If you're, that, and, the, and the small one is too small, so get the larger of the two. If you want to do these, these will spray paint. I think in the fall, we spray painted them orange and we put a bow around it and we just added a, um, ornament tied to the top and we made several of these ornaments but you can put like jute all the way around them and cover them up you can put a little raffia on them uh, and make them look like your own straw hat if you don't want to go and buy those little hats from the hobby lobby store and they're so thin i have to remember where i put everything now that i have this tray you can take your just take some little snips i mean and this is I probably can do it with my small one. I probably don't even have to cut it at all. It looks like it's um, bending all on its own and making a hole. Okay, take it, bend it back, just like you would have to do with those little straw hats for your doll. They don't come with the bunny ear hole in them. You actually have to cut it. So, um, I just saw these from another site. Yes, I did not do this. They, um, other people are doing it. But I wanted to show you an option um, on making this little straw hat. Just take your little, and I probably have to do it bigger than this. I really don't want to cut it. I like the fact that I'm able to bend it, but we probably are going to have to cut it. And all I'm doing is putting a little hole in it. And I'm going to bend it back for right now so when I stick the little bunny ear through it and it's cloth, that it'll pull through. Maybe I can do it on this one. But you just put a little hole in it, pull them up through here just like so, and you make it even cut these if you wanted to, but pull them up through here, and then you would just put your little hat on your doll. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. Like after you put both of them through there. That way, you don't have to go get those little straw hats. You can already have your hats. But that looks like a cute little craft in itself. Let's see. Um, let me cut this other one loose because I want it to go on the other side of the hat, so. Uh, I had to cut it too low. All right, we'll live through it. Okay. I pulled it all the way through. All right, I'm gonna get it together in just a minute. Y'all, I'm trying to show you somebody else's stuff and messing all up. Hey, Sue from Virginia. 
Hey, uh, Mary from my ice coffee stained mine. Yes, I mean, if you don't like the start white, which I, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of that either. Um, you can, uh, yeah, she painted hers like a chocolate brown color. And it was really cute. I was surprised. And I think it surprised her too. She was just like, you know, I didn't think it was gonna turn out cute, but now I really like them and they work extremely cute. So sometimes you get um, something and uh, it may not be for you the color it is, but you may can change it to the color that'll be for you. All right. Boy, for something to come from the Dollar Tree, this sure is tough. Okay. I can't pull this one as far because I cut the bottom of it all. Make sure I don't cut it. Okay. So you have your little hat, just like that. I can bend it back down and make them stick straight up. There you go. So, there you have your doll, and now we don't cut this one's head off, but um, then you have that, and it's something you went to the Dollar Tree and gotten. But I would like either spray paint them, um, you could decoupage fabric on them, hot glue, uh, jute on them, but remember you got to cut those holes, so don't put something on it that you see how it takes a minute just to get through the wire to cut through for your little hat. But see, even that little hat to me is extremely cute, just the way it is. Even with the little pink on the ears, like you had a little bit of polka dot, um, just as a little shelf setter. Remember we did the other uh, hats from the Dollar Tree from, from the fall. All right. So I've showed you that and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna save this one for um, the stuffing. I got a little bag down there, okay. So I'm gonna paint, try to paint mine chocolate. I think even though I've got one that look, the ears are like over here, <laughs> it's a little irregular. But I'm gonna paint it chocolate because she did that love it. And I tell you y'all, I follow other crafters. Don't just follow like one or two people. Constantly find new people because you don't ever know what you'll see and love. Hey, Mahala, I hope you're feeling better. I've also seen those coffee stained. Now, I haven't seen the coffee stain, but I'll have to look it up. Jennifer from uh, Canada. I don't, how would you pronounce P-E-I, Buffy? Dash Canada. Like it's, I guess that's a location. Hey, Pay. Um, hey, Sienna, I have two of the carts, kind of like your open one, but mine doesn't have the compartments on the top or the holders on the side. Yeah, the holders, and then it came with these little hooks on the side. And the top part, those little dividers, it's kind of like when you get a tool box, I mean, a tackle box, and it gives you the options. Like, I can take them up, move them, I can cut them and make them shorter. Um, but I, I do like that. Right now, I've just got some paint in it, but I know eventually I'll probably stick things in it. All right, now, our craft for tonight, and we're getting so close to Easter, I'm just about getting done with Easter, but I mean, it's so much fun. And hopefully soon, I'll be able to do another one of those giveaways and send y'all a bunch of stuff, because I don't have a lot of Easter left, um, but the things I have, you know, I don't, I don't want to save like the little eggs and all that kind of stuff till next year because they'll just have them again. That's something they've had for several years. Those bunnies are so cute. Would love to have a set. My Dollar Tree. Yeah, and I was in there today and our dogs, that somebody was come in and wipe them out. They were almost, I mean, they had candy left. That was it. These bunnies are so cute. Would love to have a set. My Dollar Tree never has good stuff. If anyone would like to send me a pair, I would gladly pay you in the shipping. I wish I had another one. But those were the only two I got. And I thought, why am I getting these? I'm never going to use them. Um, P-E-I is Prince Edward Island. Oh, it stood for something, Buff. Prince Edward Island. Ooh, I bet you live in a beautiful place. It's in Canada. Prince Edward Island. Everybody knows this, and I don't know this. Hey, Mary Lou from Georgia. My Dollar Tree never had them. They had them right at the beginning when they put some of our stuff out. Even really before they put the wooden things out. Okay, what we're gonna do is make like a bunny, believe it or not, instead of a chick, coming out of our Easter egg. 
but kind of like the other thing we used, I actually want to do like the little jagged lines across this, like it's, um, you know, the egg is cracking open. So let's see. And I've used, we're gonna use this bunny. That we have like one that's like a, the head was pretty big and then there's some that the whole body was this size. I kind of like the, the, the point from about here up because I can make it look like his hands are kind of sitting on the little jagged part. Um, but we're gonna take that uh, like little tinsel stuff off. So let's see. I have him right there. Oops, I'm doing the wrong side of my mark. This is just a chalk pencil that you can get from the Dollar Tree, y'all. And I really like it because it's almost like wax, like a white crayon. And it'll write on any material. It'll even write on cloth. Now, it won't come off like your cloth, um, like a chalk for uh, sewing. So, don't think that it's just going to rub off like your uh, the chalk for sewing does because it doesn't. Yeah, E stands for pencil. I want Hey girl, hey, I'm glad you're on tonight. I didn't know what to do with myself when you are not on. Laugh out loud, I'm me too. I missed y'all last night. But I really came home after doing all that and was extremely lazy. I watched like, I think I, think I finally went to sleep at like one o'clock in the morning. I watched like two or three movies. Chris had friends over and so he was hanging out with them. And he has what I call his man cave, but he hates it when I say that, but that's what it is. And they were out there until late. And we obviously did really good on insulation because I never hear them raising cane out there, even though I know they do. Y'all, I'm not worried about cutting this up. I don't want to get my X-Acto knife out today. Um... I'm just gonna cut these because I really want really sharp little broken pieces. So that's why I'm really trying to cut it apart. Now this will cut with a box cutter, X-Acto knife, um, anything like that. But I really want it to kind of be sharp, the little cuts. I don't want to bend them too much because you know it is just pieces of cardboard pressed together so it can come apart all right uh you sure have a lot of talent can do great crafts and can swing a mean hammer to destroy a shed yes destroy it I, 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 unscrewing it rolling it up that metal and and stephanie my sister we ne never bothered our hands but like if a piece kind of swept by she had like you know scraped her leg a couple times so she had like two pieces of blood coming down her leg and i was doing so good and and like maybe the last little piece um not only did it catch me on one leg it caught me straight across on both of them so then I looked like I had warrior wounds like she did. Blood was dripping all down the leg. And, um, but we did it. We crushed it. It felt good. Felt good to do some work even though we were paying for it last night. We were like, and it was hot in Georgia. It was like 80 something degrees, a little bit. But today, when I went over there, um, and I see this has got glitter on it. And I'm going to try to scrub, scrub just a little bit of this off. Just so I don't have it so much on my board. Because we're going to use the other side. But we did really good. We got it all down and put in the, put in the trailer for um, because she had done a lot by herself before we got there. Crazy. This is wanting to stick to my paper. I don't know why tonight makes it different. It's wanting to, even though I just got all this paper wet, but I don't care. Woo! Now I'm all glittery up. I have shorts on, so my legs now have glitter all over them. Okay. So we're gonna take, and I actually cleaned that red water out today too, but y'all look, I have like my, you can't see it, but I have my whole desk. 
no keeping my things over here. Hope your Yeti is. Um, hey, Sin and all the crafters. Hey, Karen from Louisiana. Hey, my name is Linda from uh, Louis Louisville, Kentucky. I love crafts. Watch all the time. Thank you so much. I'm trying to figure out how I would pronounce your name. K-E-P-P-L-I-L-E. Y'all tell me how I would pronounce that. Like write it out for somebody who wouldn't know that. All right, we're gonna paint our plaster white because I'm gonna do this mainly white because we're gonna put jute on our little bunny. So of course he's gonna be darker. Um, because I bet you that's so pretty how you say it. A uh, kipple, maybe? Kipple? All right, let's see. Where are my... Oh, Y'all, this is going to take some getting used to, though, on my um, thing. Um, ignore prior message. Um, hope, hey, I would have jumped in that beautiful pool. Yes. I told her today when I went over there, and we, I was just trying to help get some of that limb, that tree we decided just to start cutting down last night. <laughs> He was like, what are y'all doing? I'm like, cutting down this tree that's supposed to, it's a shrub, but it looks like a tree. Um, but, because it was behind her little greenhouse thingy that we tore down. It was huge, you know, it's a huge crepe myrtle. Then it has a shrub that has grown up in the middle of it, and they were all intertwined. It was pretty cool. But, you know, when you get, like, those little battery off of Trent, chainsaws going love that too you just want to start cutting everything down and then today if it wasn't for us having to pull them out by the road so the city could come and pick them up for her i would probably still over there cutting stuff down but that was a lot of work but plus she looked like she had a forest out there by the road and i was scared the city was gonna tell her she had too much i said let them take this off this week and then we'll cut some more of it kipple kippy is it I-E or, no, it's L-E. Yes, Kippy. Kipple. That is really pretty. Kipple Linda. I've never seen anybody's Kipple. I've never seen anybody's last name Linda. Unless, like, do you and someone else share? You know, sometimes husbands and wives share their Facebook. Chris doesn't Facebook, so I don't have to share anything with him. But his dad's name is Chris Van, so everybody thinks when I tag his dad and something that I'm tagging him. He's he does Twitter and 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 TikToks. <laughs> he watches TikToks. He he's in there like the girls do, watching TikTok. And I got enough addictions with my phone playing games and I mean I even do a crossword puzzle on my phone every day. <laughs> you only can do one a day. It's like getting like the paper. I'm not gonna worry about detailing the side because you know of course I'm gonna um uh distress mine just a little bit so it's okay if a little bit of that brown comes through. Hello from Canada. Shannon, we have someone else from Canada. Someone from Edward Island. Prince Edward Island. No, I put my name first. Oh, you put your last name first? Oh, okay. So Kipple is your last name. Oh, I thought it was your first name. That's really pretty. That would be a pretty little girl's name. I, it's Neely. My maiden name was Neely. And my dad had girls, so I named... Um, Neely, her name is Neely Ann, because that was my maiden name. You keep freezing up on me, Debbie, so I had to go out and come back in. So if you answered about the scissors, I missed it. Okay, Debbie, ask me again. Debbie, she's not answered yet. I'm sorry, you are so talented. I put my last name first. Yes, I love that. And that's really pretty. You tell your, if you already have kids and you're like looking for grandkids, you need to tell some of them to name them, because I love that. That's really pretty, especially for a little girl. I don't know, a little boy Kipple would be pretty too. When he got older, he must have, I want to be, be Kip. All right, so here is just our top part. And then, you know, we're going to just use the bottom of the bunny, like where the little hands are. And I'm actually probably going to pull his little hands loose 
on that particular part, so maybe we can bend them forward a little bit. Okay, so let's let that dry, and we'll take this apart. That's one thing. I may have to reverse the big cart, the little, because I'm so used to all my things grabbing over here that I use constantly, and I've got all those over here. Get this pink off first. But it was so hot in Georgia today. I mean, I had the top down on my car. That's why I had this butamous hat on. If y'all could see probably the knots that I have in my hair. It, and I had to like turn the air conditioner little things on my seat, you know, like so it makes you love your booty uh, cold. And the air conditioner blowing on me going down the road because that's how hot it was today in Georgia. You know, we already got that, that boob sweat going on yesterday. When I finished last night, sweating so much, doing that shed, it felt like I'd been at the beach and I just had salt stuck all to my face. But tonight, I'm gonna wash this gray right out of this head in some place. <laughs> Where did you get your scissors? Okay, um, the big ones. I got them at, I'm pretty sure Lowe's. It's rare I get things from Home Depot, so I would always say Lowe's. But they actually came in a big pack and it says, um, like, I guess, Wish, W-I-S-S -S is the name on it. It's got a little paint on it. But they actually came in a pack that had, like, screwdrivers, like this brand, and a lot of, like, little things. But you can buy these by themselves. Go in, like, um, like where you get the screwdrivers thing and get you, like, a heavy-duty pair of scissors. They are somewhat kind of sharp, but I don't do it for the sharpness. I do it for, like, to really cut. Like, you could cut wire and stuff with this, and it would not, you know, mess your edge up like it does your little sharp scissors. But I've had those forever. And um, they still, you know, cut the things I need to cut with them. Now, if I wanted to cut, like, a piece of cloth, like, like see this, like, little ribbon? Most of the time it won't. Well, it did that time. Most of the time, especially fabric. If I take fabric out... It's not sharp enough to do that. It's meant to do like kind of, I call them my industrial scissors. All right, even though I don't want this at the bottom. I'm sorry I didn't hear you about the scissors. I need <clears throat> some nights to have somebody up here uh, answering the questions for me. But I hate to ask somebody to do that if they're not crafting, you know, hey, just come sit in here and tell me what they're saying. Because, Chris, that's probably like our little break time from each other when I do this. And he sits out on his porch and listens to the run around. And uh, I'm jealous. We're having a blizzard here in Colorado. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what's worse. Now, I'm sure a blizzard's probably got to be as mad as this uh, heat here. Because, I mean, it would be different. I think, But I think next week, Beth said it's supposed to maybe go back to, like, the highs, like, 60. I can deal with that. That's still, you know, work in the yard and you get a little hot just from your, your exerting yourself, but not, I gotta go in because I'm scared I'm fixing to get dehydrated. That's how it was today. You know, me being overweight, it don't, it doesn't help, you know, when I get so hot. You know that, like in Georgia, that's why I like the faucet, the hose. That's why we all drink out the hose and stuff because you're working in the yard. You, you, you want to just put it over your head or drink out of it. I think the other day something come up about that. Like, you know, all the things have you ever. And you had to, like, list out or say yes or no. And one of them was, like, ever drink out of your hose, like your garden hose. I mean, and I'm thinking, who has done that? <laughs> I think I still to this day would drink out my hose and I'm out there hot enough, even if I had a little bottle of water because it's so cool coming out of that well. Can't beat it. All right. So you can cut it up. You see, you can take it apart. If for some reason you like this stuff, you can take it, you know, apart and use it. It just, sometimes it's easier and sometimes it's not so easy if you can't find an end. So I'm all. Oh, see the other side. They didn't do that. This one they, 
They laced it. Okay. Um, Prince Edward Island is beautiful. That's in Eastern Canada. I'm in Western Canada. Oh, so from coast to coast. The link to your carts. Okay, Pam, I will try. I will tell Neely. Neely can do it. I'll tell her to go on here and put links. Show me how to do it on, you know how like you can go in there and I can edit a post? Like if I've, you know, misspelled a word or, you know, it's auto-corrected to another word, I can go in there and edit it. So once I finish here, I'll go back to my carts and put some links on there for you. On my way, I'll tell my husband, my girl needs me. <laughs> yes. Blizzard here in Crawford, Nebraska. Same weather front as Colorado. Oh my gosh, it tastes good and cold. Yes. Um, I, yeah, I'm like, who, who hasn't drank out the faucet? You do it as a kid all the time. Now, I can understand if you don't live in the country like I do, or if you're in like a condo or apartment building or something, maybe you haven't, but maybe one time in your life. Okay, so looking at the bunny, remember, I only want from about here up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take that. This will be behind, so you're not gonna really see that. So I'm not gonna worry about it. But his hands, see the only thing that's like keeping me from bending his little hands is this one little piece right here. So I think I'm gonna cut that. And here, and here. Now I really don't want that hole. I may not need the little egg belly part that's right here. That's only got one connection right here. I may not need that but I think I did. Uh, no, I know what part I don't need though, is the inside. And it kind of humps up right there and it might not take a good bond to it. And you know, I want it to be sturdy. So we're gonna take just the inside of the little egg off and that way, see it's flat. Now I know his arms aren't, but I'm definitely gonna have the arms in the front, so. I'm gonna take all these little ridges that actually will grab your, it'll be super flat. Now I'm depending on a lot with that one little piece of plastic right there in the end, but I'm thinking I can maybe put that behind the little egg part. See how it's just the only egg part is going behind, but I don't want to break it. And then I'm going to put my, and see, I'm kind of, it's wedging down in there pretty well. Now he's not quite right in the center, but see how I put the little paws on the front, but let's get him covered and, um, worry about that um, in a minute. Remember from the Dollar Tree, you can buy colored twine. Now remember this is tinier, so it's gonna, you're gonna need a lot of it and you're gonna have to wind a lot. Uh, but just, you know, if you ever are buying yarn or anything jute with to do this, remember you wanna try to not get the biggest one, but get one that's not like your tiny, tiny little uh, jute because you really will be winding all day. Um, Blizzard here, I taste it. Okay, I'd like to know, thank you. Yes, Pam, one day when I go in there, I'll try to um, take a picture of it so you can see what the packaging looks like, but it's actually in the tools. Um, screenshot works too. Country girls will survive, yes sir. I mean, drinking out of faucet, I mean, I'm thinking to myself, who hadn't done that? But that's just me now, me assuming. Okay, and I guess you could really start anywhere. His little arms are probably gonna be the hardest thing for me to do, because I really want the arms to be separate. I've got to go in between this little bar right here. But besides that, I don't think it's gonna be too hard to uh, wind it. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that moss green on it and see how this is gray, but it's, but it almost looks like a green up against this jute. So if that bothers you, these little colors that'll poke out, 
Um, you know, you can spray paint it a different color. Or you can go back and like hit it a little bit with your chalk paint since they're so tiny. Um, get his little hand in there. And I may cut this. Normally I like to do it on one whole piece, but I think I'm gonna have to cut it and start over unless I wanna go back up and I really don't wanna waste a lot of my juice. All right, South Carolina, yes. Country girls. Um, let's see. I don't think I want to go all the way back up like that. Okay. Oh, I wish I'd have left this little piece up here where I could um, tie it. But remember, jute is basically like a fabric, so it'll absorb your hot glue. Just give it a second to dry. And look, I got my little compartment with my finger protectors in it. <laughs> Bubby's in here telling Nathan, my mom was so excited about her organization cards over here, because I really was. I was wanting her to come in and see it. Are you heading home? Yeah, I'm about to. Oh, okay. Okay, so there's one of his little arms. And we're gonna do the other one. Hello, hello, hey, Lynn. How thick is his arm? How, hold on, how thick is the arm? This is what it looks like. And see, the reason why it looks pretty thick is not that I used a lot, it's just that it's got a little dimension to it. So see, that's why it looks thick, but I really don't have that many on it. Yeah, and his face, his head is gonna be like that a little bit. See how it raises up? Now the ears are pretty flat, but his palms, and the head are gonna, they're gonna look pretty thick. But that's good, so it'll look a little dimensional. So, I think these are the only ones that are gonna take me a second because of having to go in this little place right here. But I don't want to pull on. Okay, be careful. I don't want to pull on that little arm. Because like I said, there's only got one thing holding it on. Ooh, I ate taco salad for supper. And, um, which it was like my lupper. Because it was my lunch and my supper. And I ain't tasted it again. Okay. So, yeah, it looked like his arm was pretty thick. Um, so what I need to call you Linda because you put your last name first, Linda, but it's, it's really not. We don't really have that many layers on him. He just looks that way because Kind of a little weird to do that end piece where his um like his paw is down here because you really don't have the up and down like you did on your other ones so if you want to take yours and go all the way back up you can Slip this one in. I got like a little hole right there. I'll put that. That's not good backwash. Um, that's not good backwash. 
Okay, I don't, I don't know. Hold on. Just getting here. Did you get the shed all turned down? Yes, we did, Chris. We got it all uh, taken away. Did not go back. Uh, Luffer, I like that. Luffer, yeah. It was like I didn't. I went over there and helped Beth, and I didn't eat any breakfast, and <clears throat> I didn't want to eat because it was like right before lunch, and then get out in the hot sun. So I didn't eat anything. So I just um, started helping her. And, um, next thing I know, we ran out to the Dollar Tree. Nothing really good there. Nothing in the craft. So, and then we went to Walmart because she needed some soul. And then I brought her home. It was probably maybe 3 o'clock, 2.30 when I got back home. And, um, Y'all, I'm just going to do this in sections so I can control it. So, I'm going to do just his head for right now. I can control what the ears look like and everything. Um, but I, then by then, you know, I put that cart together and I was like, okay, I'm starving. So, I've got to get me something to eat. So, I made me um, some taco salad with some leftover taco meat. Hey, Chris, you're just getting home. You must have finished watching the uh, the golf match. Who won? Jeffrey Thomas? Jeffrey Thomas? Justin. Justin Thomas. Oh, okay. Did he play good? I mean, like, did he win by a lot? Ah, who else? Who was the second then? Uh, I think the He's been in his memes watching golf with her. Y'all, and, and yeah, with daylight savings time, I looked up and I was like, gosh, I, I'm gonna have to go live early. I feel like I was just sitting there waiting. I looked up next thing, it was seven o'clock. You know, it's still light outside, so it was just weird. This is something that you may can see the back of him. Uh, we can't, we get it, hold on, we call it Dunch. <laughs> Lupper. Oh no, I am late. Rhonda, you, Rhonda from Spokane, you didn't miss anything. We just cut the bottom of our big egg to look like a broken egg. And you can cut that any way you want to. And we took apart one of our little bunnies that had like a little, he had a little egg gut. And um, we're just having to, um, I'm finding it easier to do like his little arms, then his head, and then his ears. But you don't have to do it that way. Ooh, I'm getting low on my... Remember to use those little, these little hooks though. Um, Cause they really do catch it and it's perfect. Uh, your food, oh, okay. Backwash, what is, okay, hold on. Oh, luffer, oh, when I said luffer, is that what you meant? Like, you, oh no, you'll get backwash. Love the video, but you scare me. Oh, you're talking about when I was cutting that? I saw somebody's comments like, put some gloves on. And and y'all gloves just, <laughs> everything depends on the heat. It makes it hotter. Okay. And now that I've covered his little ear, I'm gonna maybe try to make a few little loops. I see it's still, there's some places you can see it, especially right in the little joint part because I didn't start there. Okay. All 
not. So you think you'll never use these, but I use them up all the time. You can see it's like getting close. Chris sure is a good grandson. He is a sweetie pie. He sure is. And his, he's been telling her for years that he was her favorite. So, you know, now he's just kind of, he is her favorite. But, um, you know, but he's the only one that's here. The only one of her grandchildren that live here. Uh, his sister doesn't live here. She lives in North Carolina. And his cousins, he's got two cousins that live in the Atlanta area. And then two that live on the other side of the state. So he is the only one that's here. And he told her a couple years ago that he'd do whatever it took for her to stay in her own home. And she has not forgotten that. She forgets a lot of stuff, but she has never forgotten that. It's starting to stick to the paper on the outside. All right. I never wear them gloves. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I try to wear yard gloves, you know, but I just, I get so hot and I end up taking them off. And so then they, that you can't find them when they get wet from the hose or something. So I've got where I just, I dig my hands down in the dirt when I'm potting plants and uh, just go from there. I think I probably would if I ever had to rake or something, but I could try to avoid that kind of work. <laughs> I'll get like my blower out and I'll blow like the yard across it and waste like all kind of fuel, but I am not a raker. The backwash she is talking about, she means acid reflux. Oh, you're talking about for um, um, the taco salad. Okay, yeah, Chris gets that acid reflux. He has to take medicine for it. It must be awful. Some nights it'll wake him up in the middle of the night. Okay, yeah, that's it. I mean, a little time consuming, but not the end of the world. And you still know what it is. I mean, you could always take a little bit of paint. You know, like I said, this jute will hold paint. I mean, it's basically a cloth um, if you wanted to do that. But you know, I just, I mean, you know what this is. Nobody looking at it is not gonna know what this is. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't understand what you meant about the bat wash. I thought you were still talking about drinking out of the hose. I'm going to say, I don't get bat wash that way. I, it just squirting out all over you and it gets to you. It feels so good. See, look, y'all can just grab my battery for my um, hot glue gun. Oh, so excited. Just set it there. You know, you just thought I would have done this before now, but... Oh, one of my finger protectors went in my little garbage can. Okay. So, the big mystery will be now about putting this on here. And I'm hoping it'll wedge on here so good because of the, especially the jute now. All right. So, let's uh, sand this up just a little bit. Does play golf? Uh, yes. He, Chris, Buffy, and I play golf. We love it. Last, okay, last at the flagpole, I was digging in dirt. Dang, black snake. Mm, see? Harry, I see you, kitty. My grandbaby's down here. Harry. I don't know why he's in here. He's never in here, is he? Come here, Harry. Harry, come here. He's just walking around. I want me to give him a treat or something. All right, I'm just sanding these little edges a little bit, but it's not really sanding really well because it's like cardboard. So, let's add our little 
um, antiquing. Just right here at my fingertips. And when I saw the video of you tearing down the shed, I thought, where's her tennis shoes? She wearing sandals, yikes. Oh, I know. And uh, because I, I had on tennis shoes when I left here, but I was not even out the door yet and I was sweating. And whatever my head and my um, feet are is what I am. That's why I like, I love hats, but I can't wear a full hat. Like I was wearing yesterday, my head was hot. I'm really more of a visor person. Uh, where did you make the egg cut? Okay, the egg cut out, and I cut up the other side, was the bigger egg from the Dollar Tree. And we just took our marker and just freehanded our little, and we cut it with the scissors, because this is that like pressed cardboard, it's not wood. But you could do this out of a piece of foam poster board, you could do it out of cardboard. Um, Um, whatever material, you know, you can cut up. It was just already in the egg shape, and I have one of those big eggs left over. The same ones that we made our chicken with, the little outdoor chicken, chicken pick. That's what we used. And they didn't have any wood pieces when I went out to the Dollar Tree today. Um left. They had a little bit of Easter when I went in there just the other day, but mm, they have Easter candy, and that's it. I'm really trying to do like little strips like on the broken part. Like that's kind of like the way the water went down, you know what I mean? When you think about antiquing or chipped paint. Remember, you don't want to ever just do your edges, so just take it like right at the end and what you got left on your finger or what you wiped off and make you some little marks in here. So the center, you know, you just don't want to antique or, or distress the edges. I mean, that's where it starts. What did you make the egg cut out? Hey, CNI, I just got on. Went out to see my grandson, then stopped on to see Honey Dip Chicken Dinner. Ooh, it was so nice being out alone. Uh, Darlene, are you the one that with your husband was in the hospital and you were able to go buy a Dollar Tree on the way home? Because if you are, you never told us what you got, if it had a good, if they had anything good. All right, so we're going to put our distressed, um, I mean, our bunny on here and you think I would have planned better. See, I'm putting this back here just so it'll give me what I'm needing up here, but I think I'm going to I'm gonna glue it all to this jute because even if this broke or you didn't have this piece on the back, I'm pretty sure all this jute, you know, would give me the bond that I'm needing. All right. So do y'all think? I think I'm gonna do that, y'all. And I kept this piece for all that, but I'm thinking that I know this jute's gonna take, well, hold on, I'm scared. I'm scared it's not gonna give me a good bond. I mean, I know it is, but you know, I'm like not 100% sure, so I'm still gonna put it back here just like this, but I'm still going to And I'm gonna put a little bow right here. We'll put our messy bow like right there. So that'll cover up that little place right there. Like, you know, but cut yours better than I did. Okay. 
little extra glue off. Uh, bunny calling. Dang. Are you saying bunny or honey? Um, he want nursing home should be the last resort if there are family members like Chris. What a blessing. Yes. Because, I mean, it's so sad. It's just her memory because, I mean, like herself, like all her like bodily function types she could do. I mean, all that is fine. I mean, like somebody, she's, she, you know, Chris, she doesn't get in the shower when nobody's there. I mean, she's really smart about what she does when nobody's there. Um, and you know, he makes her meal. They make their, he and Buffy make, make her meals. So that we don't have to worry about. Chris goes to the grocery store for, her, even though, you know, she still used to go out and get her hair done and stuff a lot, but with COVID not, not so much, but now, okay. So I'm pretty sure that would still give us a really good bond under there because this jute takes it so well. But I still kind of like having that wedge back there just to make sure. And I mean, it's poking out kind of long, but you know, I can cut these back if that bothers me, but it doesn't. All right, so here we are so far. We got a little bunny in our um, basket. So, so far, we just got a couple of bucks. Cut the middle pieces off. Yes, that's what I'm thinking that I probably could, but I want to make sure. I'm so glad I came in. Just the time to see. Oh, Jean, me too. I'm getting ready to make the egg candlesticks that are com uh, coming week. All right, I'm so glad. I keep wanting to find some more of those little rounds to make more. Because, you know, I have some friends that are like, oh, I really like that. And I wanted to make them for but we're not getting those round pieces anymore. So I'm either going to have to cut mine myself. Um, or not. Okay, just like on the little, um, there was, remember we made one that kind of had like a little, um, um, uh, garland hanging from it on each side? Because maybe we can do, ooh, we can do two little, or maybe even three little, um, we're going to make his own little garland on here. And I want to make it with, um, I want to make it with burlap, but then, oh no, I you know what I have? That pretty little bur, uh, burlap from, uh, that's green for my, my dishes, and I got a lot of it. So we'll do it on that to give it that color. And it's that real pretty uh, sage green, like a real pretty light, light green. So let me cut a few pieces of this off. Cutting upside down is not easy. And all we're gonna put right on it is hop. Because I don't, I mean, I'd have to make them pretty small to write Easter or bunny or anything else you want on it. All right, so let me pull this back and look. Trey just rolls back up here. <laughs> Y'all know that doesn't take a lot to excite me. But, um, okay, so we're going to have our little jute, and where are we going? And I found my little tiny piece, you know, straightening up here, and I'm going to love making the messy bows. Thank you so much, Rosemary. Every time I'm watching husband call me Nestle Chocolate Quick, tell him you can't hear him again tonight. All right, I really want to make the little, like, uh, garland tassel kind of looking, no, the flags, like pennant things. So this is my straight edge. I may not even have needed this. Okay. Let's see. Okay, that's going to be too short to do it on my edge, but we'll do it this way. We've got a pretty good edge cut edge here. Okay. I still think this is going to be too long. Yeah, we only needed about half this length. 
let's make one and then we'll just use that as a template for the other ones. Okay, so if it hangs down, this is still a little too long and a little too wide. Because I want it to have like the little Like this. I guess that's like a little pennant. Pen, pennant, pennant flags. All right. And then I'm just making one to the size that I want. And then I'll use that one to make my other two. So make sure they're all three the same length. And then we'll have one here and one here. Okay, so this little, and I'll tell you kind of the measurements I'm using. I mean, I guess you could also, I'm looking over here, take it and make it out of a ribbon. See how small this is? You probably could just make it out of a ribbon. Like you can actually, uh, yeah. So let me cut one. I need hops, I need three total. But it's Monday tomorrow, I have to work in my own yard tomorrow. All right, I hadn't looked at the comments. So, listen, if I ever miss saying anything to you, ask me again. I, I, I don't care. I don't care if you have to ask me three times. I'd rather ask, answer your question because sometimes y'all won't say a whole lot. Like right now, you haven't really said that much. And sometimes y'all say a whole lot of stuff. Hey, all, I'm late. Looks cute. What does the egg candlesticks look like? Uh, they're in my other room. If you go back and look at the pictures of the mantelpiece, they have like the carrots and all that on it. Um... They are uh, eggs on a stick and they have a top. They have a, a round top and a round bottom. And so, and the eggs are like through the stick. I, 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 it's hard for me to, I'm not explaining it good, I know. And y'all look at this, I bought this a while ago and I just found it going through a lot of my stuff. It's like a jute. I ordered it off of Amazon, I think, last summer. But it has little leaves, like they uh, sewed leaves into the, um, the jute itself. Oh, should, well, hold on, here's the end, but look at it. Got it off of Amazon. Um, and it's just uh, jute twine with little silk leaves through them. So we'll do that as like the, what we're gonna put the little sign on. And let's see, let me cut a, probably a piece that's gonna be a little longer. But when you order it, you get three, I mean four of these um, little sets all in one. I wish it gave you that. It says four rolls. And they're calling it Juvine. Instead of like jute and a vine, they're calling it, it's Juvine, J-U-V-A-L-E. You got to get it off of Amazon. Um, but then not get Juvine. What does the egg kennel say? Hobby Lobby sells a pack of four roll wood, square one, two in the wood pile. Oh, okay. Well, I, I don't, I see, I don't think I've ever went back there and looked in the wood, looked in the wood at Hobby Lobby. Are you going to tag it? Okay, what do you mean tag it? Like, um, I, I don't know exactly what you mean. Okay, so let me find the center and I'm gonna put the center one on here. And we're gonna make this little garland. And I'm gonna put this garland, it's so cute to cover up the edges on the front of here. Oops. Y'all look, I am down to like two glue sticks, but I'm gonna buy those, or three, buy those Gorilla glue sticks the next time since we're fixing to start with uh, summer here and doing things out in this Georgia heat. And I will let you know how well 
these, I mean, like how well it works. Does it work or is it better? But, you know, you still have to put the E6000 on it. Because the wreath maker I was watching, she, she lives in Georgia. So I'm thinking, you know, if her wreaths hold up and people tend to love them, that she must know what she's talking about. Okay, I'm sure this is probably, yeah, on here. Okay, is that not cute, y'all? Okay, there's our first one. And we'll put all of them on here, then put our letters on here. But I need to see exactly how they need to be spaced out. One tag, cute. Uh, uh, rag it, not tag it. Are you going to rag it? Oh, you're meaning like, no, because I want to keep that little V, and I feel like if it rags a little bit, that I'll lose that V shape in it. Okay, so we're going to go right here. And I'm going to put this really close, like his little palms are holding it. So the next one can't be too far over. Yeah, it looks like they're not really even going to be able to have, but maybe like the width of my thumb space in between them. Which is not bad. I mean, it's a small project, so. Okay, just a little bit of glue when you're doing fabric. You can use that little Sherbond um, fabric glue sticks, but like you have to have it, you know, in a separate glue gun. And, I'm, you know, I told you I normally don't have that out. I need to bring it out here one day and let you see what it looks like. Look, all I have is the little tiny ones, and it just looks like white glue sticks. It's white. The, what, what I have is white, and I don't know if a different brand would not be white. So see, not but just like a thumb length apart, you know, about the width of your finger. Juve, I still can't get over Juvine. That's cute. Like jute and vine. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be adorable. Glad I found this. So here's gonna be our little, you know, pennant banner that he's gonna be holding. Now all we gotta do is put hop on. Now I have my letters down here. I still have this book and I feel terrible because I have not spent any time trying to learn any letters to show you if it works or if it doesn't. But I have these other letters that we'll outline and I think they might be too big looking at them, but we'll see. We've used them before, but I found the black. Let's see. I think they may be perfect. And I'll do it maybe in that little dark moss. <laughs> well, y'all was fixing to put the H in the center. Okay. So, no, I think they're going to be cute. And I know the letters seem kind of big for this little tiny thing, but being small like this, maybe it's good that they're, they're um, bigger so from a distance you can, you know, see what it's going to mean. And I'm not leaving these on. I'm going to outline them, and then I'm going to paint them in that, like, really dark moss color. I think it would be pretty cl close to these... Um, uh, little all right let's see where did I put my pens I think I hid everything from myself y'all um, I bought these like little metallic markers and stuff I'll let you know when we comes up it was like I got a silver one like this from the Dollar Tree, and we'll see how they work. Hmm, I don't know if this is gonna work. It's so tiny, and with jute, you know what I'm gonna have to do, like we did last time, and get the letters, uh, the outline, and do you think we can, um, because on cloth or paper, I would just do the outline, but I don't know if I can. Ooh, you know what I may can do? Ooh, look, y'all. This just came to me. May not work for everybody. Put it here, and since you can see through it, 
we'll put it underneath it. Well, I think that, I wonder if I, could, if I had a better light on it. I can see it, but I can't see it. Hmm. Huh. Let's see. Let me try maybe this like little, nope. They're like the white ones. Let's see. Buffy, do you know where a, a Sharpie is? I don't see one in my drawer up here, and I had one. Did you use it? Uh, hmm. Let me see if I can just eyeball that. Let's try this, y'all. Either, either it's going to work or it's not going to work. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all like that? Let's see what we're going to do. Is this the one that's open or not open? I don't think it's open, no. Okay. This is that Waverly Moss color. Uh, can you use an egg shape for... Okay, I missed that comment. Uh, what are you going to do with the tags on the bunny head where the jute doesn't cover? I'm going to leave them there, Chris. They don't bother me. And from a distance, you can't see them. Because see, like on the hearts from a distance, they're red and you can't see them. Your husband's special look after his grandmother. My husband has cancer and loves his chocolate milk. I have. Make him three glasses a day, but I don't mind. Sprinkle. I'll go back and watch Love the Craft. And All right. Thank you so much, Judy. Leave the letters on it. Looks cute. I don't want to leave any black on it. Not that I don't uh, try putting the letter on the paper to trace. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And, and I, you can just see it through. I don't know. I don't, I don't want the black on there. And normally I like black and I put on my black, uh, um, let's see. All right, we'll do it. And maybe I'll just put a little black in our, uh, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's still in like my color wheel. And we'll put a little black in the, um, the, uh, Thing. Thank you so much. I was sitting here. Make it complicated. Um, uh, who was it said, leave the letters looks cute. Uh, Lorinda? Lorinda? Am I saying that? Lorinda? Do you have a, a light? No, I know what you're talking about. The see-through? No. But we're going we're gonna to do it. I'm going to add a little black to our little messy bows, and we'll be, we'll be fine with it. Um, okay. All right. I am going to, I'm going to hold the note. Most of the time dangling, you know, just what it's meant to do wouldn't bother me, but I actually want this to stay kind of where I put it. So I'm just going to, it's just going to kind of have the illusion that it's, um, a real little garland. And, and you don't have to put just like a dot of glue on it. And then goes up to the little corners. Um, Y'all, this little uh, Juvine is just so cute. I'm gonna cut these because I'm gonna use these pieces in my little messy bow too. Hold on. I'm going to, I still wanna put my messy bow in the front, in the front, y'all. And do a little tiny one, but I think I'm gonna make like one of those like little half bows. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Where the tails stick down. This stuff doesn't tie good.
had one do what I wanted it to do and the other one is not gonna do what I wanted it to do. Let's try to make this one look like the one I've already put on here. Those lights are good. Some of the stuff is small, so good light. Mine is a magnifier. Oh, good evening. Hey, Angela. Cute, cute. Okay. Yeah, like one was longer than the other, so I may have to cut another piece for the other side. Ow. I'm using my finger protectors all night. See, I like the way that one's kind of going up, and that one's just kind of bleh. Well, I need a little piece. Y'all like my words, there. <laughs> Cute, cute, super cute. Yeah, I think it's gonna be cute when I made this one totally different. And the other one, come on, quit, quit being different. Okay, and we're gonna put a little bow in the front. And I really don't want to put a hanger out of his ears, I don't know why. So I may just make him a shelf setter. I mean, that's what I end up doing with all of them anyway. It took me forever to find a place to hang those little bunny butts the other night so I could take a picture. And I did leave them there. They were cute. But I think that's about, besides my doors, the only place I have something to hang. Okay. So that's just giving us a little, like, like it's kind of tied up on each end. And then we're going to put this little stuff in the center. I don't think I'm going to cut this up. I've got these four pieces will do. All right, let me put them to the side. Put our paint up. Now, how do we want to do this um, messy bow? I know I want to put like a little piece of this in here. Put this back in this bag. I can't remember when I ordered this if it had other colors. It may. But I don't think it would have called it uh, Juvine if it didn't have green like the line. But I'll have to try to find that link to that too. Um, all right. I've got a little bit of this chevron or the polka dots. I think I like the polka dots better. Just to bring in just a little something. And I'll probably put this in the back. To kind of tie that, that black into it. And you know, my little favorite here. And I have some green, but I'm going to cut this in half. And this green is some of that that I got in the fall um, at the Dollar Tree. I hope they have good ribbon this year because since the fall, you know, the crafts have kind of been, I mean, especially in the ribbon part, have kind of been a little lackluster. I mean, and you think it's because, um, bring in this white just a little bit, um, because they... I almost want to pull this in here. It's like really a little country. I think it's going to be. Okay. I think that's about all we're going to get in that one. 
always put this in the back. This stuff right here is going to be so, so cute. Who's cooking in the background? Buffy, she's up there. They always think it's your daddy. But, um, but it's Buffy. All right, let's see. Let's bring in a little bit of this white, but we're going to put it in the background. Some of our green, our black, green, Who's cooking? Did you get a bit of sunburn? Mm, I don't think so, but I don't know. I had my watch on yesterday. Let's see. Looks like I might have got a little color. Um, I shouldn't have too much on my face. The worst place I get sunburn is on my nose and face, but I did have that hat on yesterday, so it may be. You don't ever know. Um, polka dot. Yeah, that looks cute. I don't think I like that all the way. I think it was covering that up, and I want that to be where you can see it. I think sometimes I don't put these even. I just get to throwing them together, and one side will be a whole lot longer than the other. Buffy, what are you making? Tomato ice cream. I did make me, got home from the grocery store with Beth and I went, my sister today got me some tomatoes. And I could not make my little tomato salad anymore without putting those green, uh, purple onions in it, which just makes it. And that those onions soak up the feta cheese and the, and the olive oil, oh, so good. And I'm not even a huge olive oil fan. But it's so good now. And I was telling my sister about it. I was like, listen, you got to try it with the onions in it. So good. You know, normally I don't share my, <laughs> make your own, paint the letters. Oh, hold on. Try painting the letters off the dots. Painting the letters off the dots. Um, uh, background, they are cooking, uh, uh, no, polka dot. Okay, you keep saying polka dot, Cynthia, is because you like the polka dot on there. And I'm having to do this kind of small. I know it seems like I did them a little shorter, but I want you to still see his paws. I don't want it, this to cover up his little paws. Um, um, and I think it is. Let's cut some of this a little bit shorter. I hate cutting a bow. Sad. When you have to make them even scissors and not want to cut everything. I found a sharpie. Oh, you did? Okay, well, I already, um, I'll put it up here because I do need one. All right. Oh, that's on there. Okay. Like it says, little bow tie. Get me a good little bond there. green short so you can see the little black polka dot. That white's coming through. Okay. 
All right, I think we're done, ladies. How do we do? Oh, nine o'clock, so an hour and a half. But we went over, remember, a couple of other little things. So, we did good. But, y'all, I think he's adorable. If I can get all the trash off of him. He's got his little... See? Looks like it's maybe leaning towards the one side too much. There we go. There we go. And I love it. I love that green color. Um, and, you know, like these are just stickers, y'all. So, really, I could just pull those off kind of after Easter and stick this kind of, you know, in some of my, um, you know, where like some of my potted flowers are or something like that. And it would be really cute. Buffy, do you think that's cute? And that way you don't see the little, that one little place right here that uh, it didn't show. Thank y'all so much for the hearts. I like the black letters. Yeah, pulling that black in there. I mean, I, I mean, black, I mean, you know how I like black, so I can live with that. I like it, but like, remember, they're stickers, so I can just pull those off. And I'm, I probably couldn't write anything else, but um, um, maybe you can put like a little flower or something on it. Um, or just, you know, a little banner doesn't have to have anything on it. Um, I'm so glad you like it. You are amazing. I think you could make mud look good. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love it. Very adorable, buddy. And I like the green also. Yeah, and I just like the fact, like I said, you could take the hop off of it. Stick it. Even if you like, I don't know if you've ever, like, just stuck something in a fern in your house. Like, to kind of give it. You know, just a little something, something. I think it would be cute stuck in a plant. Um, or the bottom of like a palm tree or something in the bottom where it's just dirt. Things like that. And, and, and it'll go with your decor. It might be bunny, but I like it. And I like stuff that you can leave out a little bit longer. Because you can leave him out for spring, you know, like at least until May into April. Um, amazing in. Hello from Kentucky. Hey, De Deborah. Thank you so much for the hearts. For the hearts, hearts. But I think, I think the little vine, the little, what is it? Juvine, um, kind of made it too. I wish y'all could see how close and detailed that little vine stuff is. And see how you can, you can see the little pieces out of his but, I mean, it's gray. It's it's really on, like, the lighter gray side. But that doesn't bother me, those sticking out. Because, you see, kind of from a distance, it just looks kind of really part of the jute. Um, so, you can spray paint it. You can get, like, a khaki spray paint if you're going to put jute on it or whatever color your yarn is. If you want to use yarn. Like, if you want your bunny white. I mean, and in... in Jute will soak up spray paint, so you actually could do this, spray paint it white if you wanted to, or really spray paint him any color you wanted to. Yeah, you know, spray paint will stick to anything. Could put sun or hot. Yes, you could, sun. Um, it's not USA colors. That would be something cute. Um, I'm so ready to do like a 4th of July craft, but I think I'm going to do a couple of strawberry Um crafts because the strawberry um little uh next page in that calendar was strawberries and it just you know it's already georgia colors too so um i think i want to do like some kind of like really cute little strawberry thing to go in my um tobacco basket over there it's kind of where i keep all the little georgia color things um joy yes uh like an ornament type thing we could do that um come the fall yeah Love it, love the color. Yeah, and the colors are totally me. You know, green's my favorite, that jute. I mean, this is something that I would really put up. Now, when you're looking at it at the back, you know, I don't like it when it looks like that. But like I said, all you need is just like one coat of white and you're done. Um, I guess you probably could maybe do a little hanger. I would say maybe just do like one little loop with your jute right here and hang him up that way because... Not that I don't think it would look good, something coming out of his ears, but, um, you know, we kind of put, I don't know, it wouldn't look terrible, but I would just say don't take away from how cute he is on the front. Just do, you know, one little loop in the back with a knot 
you know, just to hang it up. You know, you don't always need like a hanger and all that. I know beads and all that are so cute, but sometimes if you have a really cute craft, you don't want anything to take take away from it. Monogram initials, you sure can. I love Tammy. I'm really, I'm really loving this color. That's super, super cute. And I keep making cute stuff. I mean, and I absolutely love it. But I mean, like, where am I gonna put it? <laughs> but I did put. If you can see, I haven't taken the hearts down, but I did put some of my my uh, Easter stuff up here. I'm loving these. I remember I bought these last year. They're like grapevine carrots. I got them at like a local boutique, so I don't really know how to tell you where to put them, and I don't think she has any this year. But that, um, let's see. I put the little Easter on. I a little Easter, and I'm pretty sure I got this from Hobby Lobby. Just the word Easter. And the only other thing is I put this little wooden bunny up there for right now. So I can add some things to this. Let's see if I can, yeah, over there. <laughs> put him right there for right now. But I love it. It's my colors. Now these, I'm going to end up taking my hearts down, y'all, because what I'm going to do, and I, w I thought if I had time, I would show you this real quick, but I may, I'm, I'm going to do them because, you know, wine and that, that jute takes a lot on here. I have these two, but I think what I want to do is wind the jute around it because I love the hearts, but instead of letting it stay plain, I think to... You know how eggs either have like a little zigzag chevron pattern across it or just stripes or polka dots on the eggs? I'm going to take like some of my, um, the muslin material and make little tiny pom-poms and either do like zigzags or do, you know, some polka dots on them. So they're still the same like this heart is. It's really just really cute the way it is, but it'll have that little muslin ragged something on there, so it'll be just a little bit different. So that is why this is up here, and so you won't see the hearts next time. But um, I need to start putting some of the things I do behind me, but I always seem to put it on that other fireplace, and it just has too much right now. Um, it's got about all it can take. I have that wooden bunny. Yeah, I think, didn't we get it from Hobby Lobby? It's the things last year at, I, uh, I actually bought. Um, because you know, craft you craft just a little bit, but nothing. I don't. I didn't craft last year like I craft now. So, um, all right, let me put my stuff up on my little cubbies, and look at my little trash can now. I, all I have to do now is just empty my trash can because everything is up on my uh, desk. I'm so excited about my cubbies. But look, I'll try to tag the cart on there. So you'll probably see it. I'll try to just maybe do a whole new post where I can tag and I may take a pictures of the jute, um, the juvine, uh, take a picture of it and put it out on my desk and, uh, look it up and put the links on there for you. If you're a big, uh, Amazon shopper like I am, I love it when they bring it to your door in two days. Um, but all right, uh, y'all have good rest of your weekend, what little bit we have left, and I will see y'all tomorrow night.